everybody. Today we are going to go into detail about the program evaluation, which is located in WebAdvisor. We will talk about what it is, how to find it, and how you can use it while you're at Coastal Carolina University. To start, log into the Current Students tab on WebAdvisor. In order to find the program evaluation, please look under the Academic Planning tab. There is a link that says Program Evaluation, and you will click on that. The program evaluation breaks the requirements down into classes that you have already completed, all the classes that you are currently enrolled in, and all the classes that you still need to register for in order to complete your requirements. To begin, you must decide which major requirements you want to see. If you just want to check how you are doing in your current program, click the circle next to your major, which is located underneath the Active Programs heading. If you would like to see the requirements for another major, or would like to see where you are in another major, then please click on What if I changed my program of study? You will find the major that you are inquiring about, and then hit Submit. For our purposes, we are going to focus on the program that you are already in, so click this circle, and make sure to include all registered and pre-registered classes, then hit Submit. When you hit the Submit button, this is what comes up. This is your program evaluation. At the top, it will give you the student's information, including the name and the student ID. It will also say the program major that the student is enrolled in. The catalog year is generally the year that the student came to Coastal. Following that, there is a row that states who the student's advisor is. Below the student information is a program summary. First, you must notice that the student is in progress and has not yet completed the requirements for graduation. The number of credit hours in order to graduate is shown to be 120 credit hours. Below that, it shows the student must maintain a 2.0 in order to graduate. Looking under the current earned column, you can tell that the student has only earned 57 credit hours towards the 120 needed to graduate. This program summary also shows that the student needs to complete 63 more credit hours in order to complete their graduation requirements. Finally, the student is enrolled in 9 credit hours. 